Across the world, people spice up their food with chilies, either whole, flaked, or ground into a powder. Farmers and traders can earn good money by selling chili products at local and international markets. But when chilies are harvested too late, or are not well dried and stored, they can rot quickly. Many farmers dry chilies on the floor, and it may take more than a week before they're dry enough. When it rains, or when the weather is wet, many people struggle to dry their chilies. When chilies remain moist, molds develop, and the chilies will go bad. Some molds produce a poison called aflatoxin, which is toxic to people. As a buyer, when I go and buy chili from a farmer, it can happen that inside the bag there is some chili which is not properly dried. And should it happen that some part which has gone moldy, this moldiness can spread throughout the bag, which eventually will spoil the old chili in the bag. And you'll end up losing the old chili. To speed up drying and to dry your food hygienically, you can use a solar dryer that uses the heat of the sun to dry fruits and vegetables. Solar dryers come in many shapes and sizes, but the principles stay the same. Some expensive solar dryers can dry large quantities of spices and food throughout the year. These dryers use the sun and other sources of heat to keep the temperature constant. A ventilator forces the warm air over the food to draw out the moisture faster. Simple models of solar dryers only use the warmth of the sun. They're made in such a way that even without a ventilator, the air flows over the food. In this video, we'll learn how to make and use a simple solar dryer to dry chilies. But let's first listen to a farmer and a trader from Lira in northern Uganda about the benefits of solar drying. It doesn't take much time to spread the chilies in the dryer. After that, you can go and do your work and then come back to monitor. You can leave it to dry there overnight. As chili dried in a solar dryer maintains the color to a bright red color. Also, the chili dried in a solar dryer takes shorter time. As a result, development of moldness is ignored, is cut off. And then thirdly, foreign materials that come from outside as a result of wind that would contaminate it when dried on the, on the ground is eliminated. And because of the good quality we achieve, then I'm able always to pay a better price to the farmer that sells it. In a solar dryer, you can dry all sorts of food, such as spices, vegetables, and fruits, as explained by a food processor and trader in Uganda. At harvest, there are many pineapples, and I have nowhere to keep them. And our village middlemen, when they buy our pineapples, they pay a low price, and they do not take these small pineapples. So we cut them and dry them in a dryer, and when we finish drying them, we can get some good money. Making your own solar dryer is fairly simple. All you need is some wood, nails, hinges, and a little lock for the door, a clear plastic sheet, an iron sheet, 
and some screen for the vents and food trays. Make the wooden frame. The length and width depend on the size of the galvanized iron sheet. Paint the iron sheet black to better absorb the heat from the sun. We make the dryer 30 centimeters deep. The total height in the front is 95 centimeters and 110 centimeters at the back. For a three meter long iron sheet, we use three pairs of legs for extra support. The upper surface of the box and the food trays are slightly slanted. This helps the hot air flow faster over the food from one end of the dryer to the other. Make a support to help slide in the trays at 10 centimeters above the bottom. On the back side we make two doors to make it easy to put the trays in and take them out and to clean the box dryer. Cover the frames of the trays with screen so the air can reach the food on both sides of the tray. Slide the food trays into the solar dryer about 10 centimeters above the bottom surface and slant it towards the top. This way the air can flow above and below the food trays and dry the food more evenly. Cover the long side and the doors with mosquito screen. This will let the air in but will keep out dust and insects. Add a small lock so the doors stay closed. Cover the top and the two short sides of the box dryer with clear plastic to capture the heat of the sun. As heated air moves over the food, cool air is drawn in through the bottom vent and the heated moist air flows out of the higher exhaust vent. Now that we've seen how to make our own solar dryer, how do we best use it to dry our chilies? Before handling chilies and other food, make sure you've washed your hands to keep your product clean. Put your solar dryer in a sunny place in the courtyard. Spread out a thin layer of clean chilies onto the food trays and place the trays into the solar dryer. Always keep the doors of the dryer closed so that flies do not enter the dryer. If the nights are cool, bring the solar dryer indoors, or else the humidity inside the box will settle on the dried fruit and may cause molds to develop. After just two days of drying in the sun, the chilies will be dry enough for packaging and storing. So what have we learned? Solar drying allows you to dry food faster and cleaner. It helps to keep molds from growing. A simple solar dryer has a shallow box with a black bottom to capture the heat from the sun. Cover the top and the two short sides of the box dryer with clear plastic. Slightly slant the box and food trays to help the hot air flow faster over the food.
As heated air moves over the food, cool air is drawn in through a vent at the lowest side of the box. The heated moist air flows out of another exhaust vent at the upper end of the box. By drying your chilies in a solar dryer, you'll get better quality chilies and fetch a higher price when selling them. Okay. <laughs>